please wait until the software is fully loaded up and there are no error messages before you move on to the next step. So before we start using the microscope, you need to check the lens you want to use is clean and undamaged. Now the most important rule on this system is before you can switch between lenses, so these are all the lenses on this machine, so before you can switch between them and before you input, so insert your slide holder, you need to lower the lens stage all the way to the bottom. So all our lenses are on a rotation stage. So you need to lower that all the way to the bottom. And to do that, you need to use this. So the joystick controls X, Y movement of your stage. And the wheel on the side controls the Z movement of the lens. So all you need to do is you can be on course, which means fast. Put your finger on the side of this wheel and going down is turning away from you. And if you're unsure which way you're going, on here, on the display, you can see the Z number. If the display doesn't look like this, you can change the display settings until you see this Z number. You want to move the wheel and make sure it's going down so the number are getting smaller until the number stops moving like this. When it stops moving, you know you're on the bottom. But please don't trust the number itself because you can zero this position anywhere. And now if you are on course and you're moving down, one full rotation of this wheel is roughly 300 microns. So if you are not at the bottom, it's very, it'll be very obvious. So please just go down until the number stops moving. Once your lens are on the very bottom, then we can move on to the next step, which is selecting the lens you're going to use and then checking if that lens is clean and undamaged. To change lens positions, you want to go into the TI pad. Like I said, these are all the lenses on this machine. We're on 60x right now, it's highlighted. If you hover your mouse over the lens without clicking on it, it will show you the description of that lens. I want to use 40x oil. So once I click on 40x oil, it will rotate to the 40x lens automatically. Please check the lens carefully here. Make sure there are no dents or scratches or anything abnormal on the lens. If you do see something abnormal, please let myself or George know right away at the beginning of your session so that if the lens is damaged, it will help us to track down who is the one who's damaged it. To check if the 40x is clean and undamaged, please do the following. You want to come over here and select Bright Field Eyes or Eyes BF. And then you want to make sure Bright Field Light is on. So this is the Bright Field Illuminator. Make sure it's on. And you turn it on and off here. Next, you can put your hand under here just to see the bright field light is coming through. Make sure 
this is in the down position and now you want to move this toggle over to the left in the left position you can check your lens is clean and undamaged but please make sure you always put it back to the right after the lens check because you will not be able to focus on your sample when it's in this position you can only focus on your sample when this is in the right so next you want to bring this wheel all the way towards you as it is now so bring it all the way towards you and then look down the eyepiece you should be able to see a very blurred yellow light down the eyepiece and then you want to slowly turn this button slowly away from you and keep looking down the eyes if there is oil or dirt on the lens you should see spots of oil down the eyepiece but if you tur keep turning this dial you will start to focus on the condenser which is no longer your lens so bring it back all the way towards you and try again if you can't see anything no scratches no oil droplets it means your lens is clean please remember to place this back to the right before starting to try and focus on your sample so next I want to first use the 20x lens to focus on my sample before moving on to a higher magnification lens so I already know I'm on the bottom so I just want to click on the 20x dry lens you can do the same cleaning check for the 20x lens some people put oil on there by mistake if you do see oil droplets on the 20x lens please let George and I know and we can clean it or walk you through how to clean this and once again put it in the right next I want to put the stage insert in if it isn't in already to do that you want to gently move this backwards so you have some more room and the stage insert you want to take the clips and put them to the side for now and give it a clean if it's oily you want to just use some tissue with some ethanol and give it a clean and to put the stage insert in the side with the dip and the red dot always goes onto the right you can see a red dot here you want to hold it firmly in your left hand slide it in at an angle is all magnetic so it should clip in easily please avoid the lens hook your finger in the middle and then just gently lower this down until it's all leveled next you want to put your sample on cover slip or anything you image 
cannot be closer than five millimeters all the way around the edge. So when you're mounting your sample, please try and mount it in the middle. To put your sample on, the side with the cover slip always goes towards the lens. So I need to invert this. The side with the writing goes towards the right because there's a larger area to hold it. I just want to put this in like so. Next, you want to push this into one of the corners of the slide holder. So if you're trying to look for the same location later on, you put it into the same corner. And then you want to clip your sample down. So this is the clip holding it down. And these are the magnets that clips onto here and here. So just gently place them there and then push until it clicks. Same with this one. Next, you want to make sure your lens is right underneath the cover slip you want to use, or you want to see. So you want to use the joystick. You can have it on course. And you want to move your lens right underneath that cover slip. So next step, to focus with a dry lens, you do the following. You want to put your finger on the side of this wheel and turn it towards you so that the number starts to go up. So the lens stage is going up closer to the cover slip and you want to keep an eye on this focus indicator. There's a little light here that will light up in green when you are close to your cover slip. So on course you want to bring this up and keep an eye on that focus indicator. There, it's lit up in green. If, all, if you overshot um, taking this up, you just need to carefully go back down until that focus indicator just goes off and bring it up a little until it just come on. This is because when it just comes on, you only have one direction to look in to try and get your focus. So once that light is on, you want to get into a good habit of changing everything to fine. So with this, you just want to press this button until it says fine. With your joystick, you want to twist. So try not to push it. You just need to twist until it says fine. So from here, you want to come onto the software again and you want to choose a fluorescent channel or you can use bright field. If you are using bright field to focus, make sure this is placed back down. For this session, I want to use eyes dappy. So click on Eyes Dappy, but please choose the relevant contrast to your sample. You can use Eyes Bright Field, but typically users choose a fluorescent channel. Next, you need to make sure your Bright Field is off and your fluorescent is on. So this is your Bright Field Illuminator. It's on currently, so please switch this off. 
and this is your epifluorescent illuminator it's off currently so please switch this on you don't need to switch individual channels off so this is your DAPI this is your GFP this is your RFP but when you come in here and switch it on and you find that one of the channels is blank like this please just press select to switch it back on next you want to switch the room light off but first you can switch the LED light in the box on so you don't crash into any chairs you step on this paddle to switch the light on there's a dial here as well that can minimize and maximize the LED in the box you want to switch the room light off which is just pressing down once And you want to now switch the box light off as well by just stepping onto the panel again. Now you want to look down the eyes and start focusing on your cover slip. So now we use our chosen contrast, in my case, Dappy, to focus on the sample. So once again, please make sure this toggle is on the right before you start. So you want to place your hand on the wheel and look down the eyepiece and turn the wheel towards you until your dappy comes into focus. Once your cells or sample is in focus, then please remember to zero your Z position by pressing on Z reset. This zero position, now you can use this as a guideline when you move on to focusing using a higher magnification lens. So let's imagine you're using the 40X oil lens the focusing process is different, but you shouldn't have to go too much above this zero because this is your focal plane. So on the 40X oil, if you find yourself having to go 20 microns or 50 microns above this zero position, most likely you're just not on a patch of cell or something's wrong with the setup. So in that case, you want to move your lens all the way back down and just start again with focus on the 40x. Once you've zeroed your Z position, you can turn your epifluorescence off as to not bleach your sample. You can switch the box light back on. And now, we want to switch over to our 40x lens if you don't want to use the 20x for any imaging. Now, before we switch over, please make sure you remember to lower the lens all the way to the bottom. And to do that, you want to put your hand on the wheel, turn it away from you. You can check which way you're going by looking at the number is going down. Once you know which way you're going, you can put it onto course and just lower the lens all the way to the bottom until the number stops moving, like so. Now you can take your sample off. Before doing that, you just want to remember roughly where your lens is underneath. 
so that when we add oil onto our cover slip, we add it in the rough, roughly the same spot. So now you can come to your TI pad again and click on 40x oil. Before putting my sample back in, I want to add some oil onto my cover slip. So adding oil, you want to give it a gentle squeeze until some oil comes out. You want to double check there are no air bubbles. And before it drips down, you just want to touch that oil onto your cover slip like so. If you allow an entire drop of oil to fall from the bottle onto your cover slip, this is too much oil. When you have too much oil during imaging, the oil might run down the side of the lens, which can damage the lens. That's a decent amount of oil. Put this back in the same corner and clip it down like before. And please close the oil bottle. Now to focus using an oil or water lens is different to a dry lens. The focus indicator here no longer works. So please don't try and look for the green light. Instead, you want to move the wheel towards you so the lens stage goes up and you need to keep a very careful eye on your lens and you want to stop moving when your lens touches the oil so i'm moving up A membrane should form when your lens touch the oil. Like so. Once the lens touches the oil, please remember to put everything to fine. So my joystick is already on fine so I want to change this to fine so this is another rule on this microscope please remember to do this if at any point you are unsure whether your oil has touched or if you're unsure if you should keep going up you can always come to the front here and check if you're still underneath that zero position of course, this only works if you remembered to press zero reset when you were in focus on the 20x lens. So from here, you want to select whichever fluorescent channel or bright field that you want to focus with. So I'll stay on DAPI eyes. And once again, make sure bright field is off and make sure epifluorescent is on. Now you want to shut the box light off and focus again.
if you're unsure at any stage just stop moving the wheel and check if you're still underneath zero There we go. So that is my focal plane on the 40X oil. So once you are in focus with the lens you want to use to image, you can switch the epifluorescence off and everything else we would do on the software.